This is trumpet selection one, measures 39 to the end. One, two, three, one, ready? <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is uh, very two sections that are very, very similar to the beginning that you've already worked on. Actually, D to the end is almost exactly what you've already worked on at the very beginning of the piece, um, except like the last three measures. Um, but letter C, let's talk about that real quick. So letter C, we talked last time about the chords leading into this. So the chords leading into this are setting up for this minor section. So we are now going from uh, D major to D minor, which is why we have those uh, F naturals throughout here. So as you're playing this, this should definitely have that more spooky, mysterious vibe to it. Um, really just make sure you're still playing pretty. This, this shouldn't be short notes in this etude. It should be pretty and lightly articulated and forward motion all the time. Um, most of this is gonna be about ears. You just gotta be able to hear the notes, you gotta hum the notes, you gotta be able to buzz the notes. Um, once you can get the pitches to come out in your head and you hear what it sounds like, and I listen to this recording a lot will probably help. Um, but once you understand what it sounds like, uh, that's probably about half the battle. Uh, obviously those jumps in 47 and 49, uh, and the equivalents in 63 and 65, just make sure that you're not uh, trying to over muscle those high notes. Uh, the way I recommend practicing large jumps like that is taking the high note down an octave so you get used to what it sounds like. Because remember, your main goal here is to get that sound into your head. That way your lips can produce it very easily. Um, one of the things to note, uh, some, some things to notice, measure 51 through 54, uh, that's forward momentum. It should not actually get faster, but it should get louder and it should be definitely pushing forward uh, for us to get into the back into the major key at measure 55. Um, also, 51 is not a chromatic scale because you're not playing your F sharp, but 53 is a chromatic scale, so you can use that to your advantage. Um, the last comment I've got measures 68, 69, and 70. Um, 68 getting started has been a, a pretty rough spot for me. I don't even think this recording was perfect on it um, because my ears are used to hearing the arpeggio go all the way up. So the note I'm expecting to play on the downbeat of 68 is an A, but instead you're playing a G, which is only a half step higher than your F sharp. So um, make sure that as you get there, you actually practice that transition. Make sure you uh, get that in your ear and really work that spot out, because that part's still something I haven't quite mastered. Um, and I definitely think that that's a, something that might trip you up as well. Uh, only other thing I want to mention, if there aren't slurs, you should be lightly tonguing. They aren't written in staccato, they aren't supposed to be staccato, um, but they do need to all be tongued. So make sure you're using your tongue on all of those notes, nice and light. That's all for me. Happy practicing! <laughs>